got yourself quite a pickle here. Car broken down, stranded out in the middle of nowhere. Do lucky you ran into us. So, great film. But we'll have to admit, hmm. thrillers are usually... There's a lot of terrible thrillers out there. So why, for your directorial debut, did you want to get into a thriller? Uh, I don't know if I ever saw it as a thriller. I always <laughs> saw it as like a, 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 a fast-paced action film. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With a lot going on. Yeah. Suspense. Uh, because I, I wanted to tell the most compelling story, really. Uh, I'm not necessarily dictated by titles, mm -hmm. but I wanted to tell a story that I would watch. Yeah. I wanted to tell a story that would be interesting to me, where I couldn't necessarily predict what's going to happen next. I love stories that I'm basically thrusting into as an experience as opposed to watching. Because oftentimes if I watch something, I'm like, oh, it was good, it was okay. Yeah, but an experience is something like, wow, that resonates with you. Yeah. You like you you wake up to it. It's the thing under the bed. It's the dude that's driving down the street. Like is he for me? Like it it, it, it resonates with you over time, and I, and I feel like that experience lends itself to the story that much more, and it makes it better. So where does the title come from, Unsullied? Unsullied come from uh, just the name Sully. So if to sully something to make it to make it bad, to make it to dirty it, to yeah. mar it, Unsully is to be go through this experience and still keep purity in spirit, mm -hmm. whether, what, you know, if she does or not. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, you also did a great job for your first, like, feature film debut. Thank and you. there's particularly a scene where Reagan's in the car mm -hmm. and she goes to call 911 and she mm -hmm. has that flashback and she decides mm -hmm. that she's going to she's gonna take matters into her own hands. Yeah. And at first I was like... No, girl, you better get out of there, those <laughs> crazy men. But talk to us a little bit about the importance mm -hmm. for Reagan, that, that moment. I think it shows the growth that she go she's gone through to reach that point. You know, there's it's one thing to just try and survive, and then it's another thing to defend yourself, then protect yourself, and then it's another thing to be aware of how other people are being affected by, for example, these men. And to have that more expansive perspective and to want to do something about it, not just be selfish enough to only care about yourself, but then think about how if you don't do something, this will continue. Yeah. I think that right there, not only does it show, it does it discuss character and whether it's tarnished or not, but it shows how character can grow from a, a light side as opposed to a dark. And exactly what I love about it too mm -hmm. is it shows, we're so used to the women being seen as like helpless. Uh -huh. and, oh, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> yeah. And it's like at that moment, Reagan's like, and you know, let's be honest, mm -hmm. like you are a black leading lady mm -hmm. and that's very important yes. for our culture. So talk mm -hmm. a little bit about kind of just the production, how it was. Mm -hmm. I heard, I overheard you talking about Florida and all the mm -hmm. bugs and stuff, but just like the working mm -hmm. on this film, how was the experience? It was amazing. I, You know when you just feel so in your element? I felt like, I really understood Reagan and I wanted to share her with the world and I wanted to see what we could create with the other actors and with Simeon and with all the cast and crew. And it just felt, I could, tell, I could feel that we were doing something bigger than what we are. And especially because not only is it exciting and fast paced, but it has such a great message for all individuals, mm -hmm. you know? And I think Reagan is such a great symbol of how everybody should be, men and women. You you need to grow and you need to be willing to grow and deal with yourself so that you can be a better giver to society but as well as a giver to yourself. And so, Simeon, I'm sure there's plenty more that's next. But so, like, what's next? What can we expect? Because we definitely want more. So yeah. what can we expect? Okay. I that's mean, good. I have a, more. <laughs> right, right. New, new, we have some exciting projects that we, we've done. I sold a show to HBO that they, that they, you know, that they bought, and they, uh, myself and Doug Ellen, his partners on, they hired Spike Lee to be the showrunner, so we just waiting for him to send in the final <laughs> scripts on that. Yeah, uh, so we got that in the works. We also have some other scripts that we have in development that's, well, we have a lot that we finished that we're gonna be in pre-production on pretty soon, so, yeah, Dreamline is gonna be pretty much busy. The forest, it ain't no place to lose your way. 